Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Nathan and today I want to talk about a team that interests me a lot in the 2022 draft in the Montreal Canadiens, a team that has a lot of options and a lot of potential choices in the first round. But when it comes to Montreal, who are the best fits for them? Who could they draft and who should they draft in the 2022 draft? Watch till the end for all the picks and all the prospect analysis and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new. 50% of the people that are watching are not subscribed so if you like draft content this channel is the place to be so with the montreal canadians also getting the best odds in the draft completely being the last place team and getting the number one best odds in the draft lottery they have a lot of different options they can go with obviously with the draft lottery and how that affects things there's a lot of moving parts there but you also have another pick in the first round in calgary's which will also be an interesting one likely around the 25 to 32 range and depending how far calgary goes in the playoffs it could be higher or lower but at the same time the most important pick is obviously their own in Montreal's and we know it'll be a top three pick at the very worst and even if it is third overall that's still a potential franchise changing talent being added to this Habs roster now in terms of the top end guys I've been able to watch a lot of guys like Shane Wright Logan Cooley Simone Nemetz Yuri Slavkowski so I've been able to get quite a bit of an opinion on these guys and really delve deep into their fits for other teams and even for the Montreal Canadiens and in my opinion for Montreal getting those best odds in the draft lottery is seriously important because I do think they could use a franchise altering centerman and thankfully at the top of the draft is where you get that now it's between obviously Shane Wright and Logan Cooley the guys I have one and two respectively in my draft rankings but for the Montreal Canadiens if they're able to get either one of those guys it's a slam dunk of a draft for them and in my opinion that completely changes the outlook of and future really of this Habs franchise and I've been also seeing some opinions floating around that if the Montreal Canadiens were to win the draft lottery, get first overall, they should choose centerman Logan Cooley. And that's a, an opinion that I think has been really interesting over these past couple weeks, and it's been starting to float up a little bit in the Habs fan base too, is Logan Cooley potentially being their first pick first overall. Now, the thing is for me, for Montreal, I don't see them picking anybody else other than Shane Wright at number one. But it's interesting to think about for them. If they do get the first overall pick, who should they choose? Because obviously we do know that Shane Wright is likely going to be the number one pick, but for the Montreal Canadiens, the fit is a pretty different story. With Shane Wright and Logan Cooley, they both have extremely different strengths and weaknesses. With Shane Wright, he's a lot more of a methodical, a lot more of a two-way, slower, but also great decision-making decision centerman. He's a guy that loves to thrive in the little details and loves to also leave his shot and leadership abilities. On the other hand, Logan Cooley is a much more exciting, much more consistently fast player out there. And the pace of play, in my opinion, is the biggest difference between Wright and Cooley. With Cooley, he loves to push play, loves to be the guy leading a line. On the other hand, with Shane Wright, the pace of play might not be at the NHL level quite yet, but I do think he'll be a much more slower, much more methodical center, as we talked about before. So for Montreal, it definitely goes back to the fit at hand. But with what they're trying to go with, with Marty St. Louis, potentially in the future with other players like Cole Caulfield. In my opinion, fit-wise, Logan Cooley might be better for the Habs. You already have Nick Suzuki, who's starting to become this great two-way centerman, even if he has trailed off a little bit over these past few weeks. But if your plan is to have Nick Suzuki as the maybe second line or even first line shutdown center, having Logan Cooley as the more offensive weapon who could potentially play with Nick uh, Cole Caulfield to be fantastic, I think would also be a, an amazing one-two punch. Obviously, you'll still take Wright and Suzuki, but I think both of those players are pretty similar and Logan Cooley brings a dimension the Montreal Canadiens don't quite have. Now, I know there's also been a lot of people asking for comparables with both Shane Wright and Logan Cooley. And for me, it, there's not quite one perfectly for Shane Wright because I would say a guy that's kind of in the same direction is Bergeron. But at the same time, I don't see Wright being at the same level of Patrice Bergeron. As for Logan Cooley, I think there's a pretty similar comparable out there in the NHL. And I think that's Matthew Barzal, a guy that in the right system can be an offensively dominant and just possession beast with great skating, great pace of play, and fantastic speed. 
To me, that's what Logan Cooley kind of brings, and he brings that fantastic skill and speed elements that other centermen just aren't able to provide. He'll be a skill stud. He'll be such a highlight reel player, but again, it depends on just what Montreal wants. If they want a more two-way centerman, you go with Shane Wright, but if you want explosiveness to put behind or even ahead of Nick Suzuki and have him as a play driver, have him as a guy that will bring the offense every single shift, Logan Cooley is your guy, and in my opinion, even if Montreal takes Cooley number one, I don't blame them whatsoever. Even though I would go Shane Wright still in Montreal's position, at the same time, Cooley brings something that Montreal does not have in their system right now, and again, especially center-wise, to have that type of guy alongside a Caulfield and other players in the future is going to be so impactful for them. But another reason why I do think Cooley will likely not be the pick for the Montreal Canadiens if they do pick number one is the fact that he's also committed to the University of Minnesota, and I do think Montreal, if they are going to select the first overall pick, would want to have their number one in the NHL to start out. And although I like Logan Cooley, and although I've bashed a little bit of, of Shane Wright's pace of play, I still think Shane Wright would survive in the NHL in year one. Probably not be the best rookie in the world, but still be a good NHL player, and again, show that defensive structure that he already has. So in my opinion for Montreal, if they do go number one, I would pick Shane Wright, and I also think the Montreal Canadiens would pick Shane Wright. But once you get past that number one pick, that's where it all starts to kind of change, because at second overall, a lot of options start to come up for Montreal. Even though I would pick Logan Cooley 110% second overall, there's also other players they might be looking at, like Yuri Slavkowski, like Simone Nemetz, and there's other players in that range that Montreal would be interested in. Now, in my opinion for the Habs, I know I did just mention Simone Nemetz, but especially second overall, I don't think the Montreal Canadiens should really jump up and reach a little bit for a defenseman. I feel like Montreal's system especially has one of the better defensive prospect pools in the entire NHL, with a lot of guys that I think will be middle pairing quality, even bottom pairing guys at the NHL level. So I feel like for Montreal, even though Simone Nemetz would be great to have and might even be their pick at number three, I think at number two, it has to be between a forward and to me, it'll either be Logan Cooley at that pick or Uri Slavkowski. Even though I have a couple players forward-wise ahead of Slavkowski, uh, including Cooley and Wright, I do think Slavkowski with the draft type he's been getting will be one of the options for Montreal. Obviously, those seven goals and seven Olympic games are definitely a big part of things, but in the Liga, although those numbers won't strike you, he's a player that's been great in possession, has been fantastic in expected goals in the Liga as well, and I think he's going to be a great, solid, play-driving, skilled forward who can also skate decently and have potential with his big frame. So even though I would not take Slavkowski in the top two, if a team does jump up that high and try to select him, I don't I don't exactly blame them. I definitely see where they're coming from. But especially for the Montreal Canadiens, I don't know if a winger is also the choice there either. In my opinion, number two, obviously Shane Wright gone. In my opinion, Logan Cooley is the pick 100% and should be their second overall choice. Now, here's the thing. We've been talking about first overall, second overall, but the Montreal Canadiens could still drop to third overall, and there's a decent chance of that happening. So with Shane Wright and Logan Cooley gone, who do the Montreal Canadiens go at with number three? And in my opinion, there are a wide variety of options. Now, guys like Nemetz and even David Juracek are on the table defensively, and although I still wouldn't go for them at that spot, I could also still see them being options. In terms of the forward side of things, I think the most realistic choice here for Montreal for them is Uri Slavkowski. I feel like that's the guy they'd be looking at the most in this position, but I think there's a couple of forwards also around that range that I think would, for Montreal would be amazing to take. For me, Brad Lambert in Montreal will be a very nice experiment. He's a player that hasn't been great in the Liga this year, but we see with Adorado last year how he was tanking in terms of production, and now this year is is a, almost a point per game in the Liga. I think that so, a similar thing is happening to Brad Lambert where the luck is just not going his way, but the overall quickness, the speed, the great skating, to, in my opinion, Brad Lambert is all at a very high level, and I feel like he's going to be one of the more boomer bust prospects of this draft, but still has potential to be a first-line offensive dynamic player. And I feel like for Montreal, that's another guy that would fit their system pretty well, just like Logan Cooley would offensively. You also have Matthew Savoy, who is playing center, but can play all positions. He's another guy that is almost all offense. The defense still needs to go a long way, but some of that is because of the effort level. I think once he tries a little harder, maybe at the pro game defensively, he'll be a little bit better. But in terms of skating, in terms of great overall IQ and awareness on the ice, in my opinion, Matthew Savoy brings so many tools to the table offensively, and he's going to be an amazing power 
power play, and even solid even strength guy at the NHL level. He's a guy I don't know will be a first line player, but will be an amazing top six option. And again, for Montreal, if he, if he does have a chance of turning into a centerman, that would be another great fit on offense. And I think him alongside Cole Caulfield would be extremely dynamic. But again, going back to the question, who should they draft and who could they draft? In my opinion, number three, if they do get that spot, I think they will select Uri Slavkoski. But in that spot, who they should draft? In my opinion, it is Brad Lambert at number three. He's the third-ranked prospect on my board still, and I still have a lot of belief in him. But again, Slavkoski, Lambert and Savoy, they're all in that same uh, area in terms of talent and potential. So any three of those guys, in my opinion, are pretty easy picks to make. Now, speaking of worst case scenarios, let's say the Calgary Flames go all the way and win the Stanley Cup and the Habs get the first and 32nd spot in the NHL draft. In my opinion, Although there definitely is a drop-off in this draft pretty hard, there is still some options I would like the Habs to go with. So let's say again, Shane Wright is the pick first overall, and they get a center with their number one pick. Going on to number 32, I don't think it's out of the question that they pick another centerman. I just think it's a bit less likely, but still at number 32, I would love to have my hands on a guy like Solvac Stud, Philip Machar, who I think will be a centerman at the NHL level, but can play wing. He's been so efficient and so fun to watch in the main Slovak Men's Pro League. He's been so good there. It's, it's just so incredible to see. He's got a super creative, loves to push high danger chance, and loves to push pace of play, really leading his line a lot in forward checking in other different areas. He's a guy at number 32, I think would be an amazing pick, and I think would be like a great, amazing third line forward checking forward in the future. You've also got a couple other players I like quite a bit. You got defenseman Liam Bichelle, Swiss D man, who's been playing in the SHL this year, three points in 29 games, getting some pretty decent minutes as well. He's got, I think, has big potential. He has a big frame, but also skates pretty solidly too. He's got that will be a project 100%, but I think could maybe max out as a middle pairing guy and also I love me some Cutter Gauthier for the Montreal Canadiens he would be an amazing pick for them I think as another third line option will be an amazing middle six player to have he's super efficient super tenacious loves to make loves to make, loves to make the game just absolute HE double hockey sticks for the for the other team it's honestly insane but does all those small things well and I think creates a lot of chances himself he would be an excellent option number 32 but also might not be too realistic to actually be there. But that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments down below, please, which you guys agree and disagree with. Who do you guys think the Montreal Canadiens should draft in this draft? Who do you think they could draft as well? What would be your draft picks if you have the choice? Let me know all your thoughts down below and what you guys think the Montreal Canadiens should do. Make sure you share this video with your friends. Get it out there to all the Habs fans and hockey fans you guys know online. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. My name is Nathan. Have a fantastic day day, drink some water, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.